Welcome to eCareDiary.com's Caregiver Tips and Clips. I'm your host, Meghna Kiritar. Each week, we will focus on a caregiver issue in the form of a short educational video. The subject of today's video is Aging Independently by Aging in Place. According to the Center for Disease Control, aging in place is the ability to live in one's own home and community safely, independently, and comfortably, regardless of age, income, or ability level. It is a decision made by a senior to not move to an assisted living facility or a retirement community. This kind of lifestyle involves getting help as needs change. There are many issues involved in being able to age in place the right way. Seniors often don't know where to begin or what questions to ask. Like any other long-term decision, this choice requires a fair amount of planning. But before getting to that stage, it is important to inform family and friends. It is best to communicate your reasons for choosing to age at home and focus on factors that will need attention as aging needs change. After the talk with your loved ones, the next step is to create a care plan. This plan covers areas such as medical care, financial management and other aging preferences. This can help in retaining control and can be updated over time. The plan also authorizes a trustworthy person to handle healthcare decisions once a senior is at a stage of not being able to speak for himself or herself. The authorized person will need important documents such as a durable power of attorney or living will that elaborates in advance preferences at end of life. Aging in place is easier when your home is modified and made safer and more comfortable. Structural changes are often required. It is good to focus on areas such as getting in and out of the home easily, safety and easy movement within the house. Some simple steps that can be taken are adding grab bars to bathrooms to enable easy entry and exit from the tub. Non-skid floors and stair lifts can be helpful to those who have movement issues. Easy to reach handles and faucets in bathrooms and the kitchen and better insulation are some other suggestions. Extra care is required when a senior has chronic medical issues. Planning for present and future support must be done in advance. Minor health problems can turn into big issues if proper health routine is not followed. It is good to have easy access to healthcare facilities. Caregivers should check if in-house doctor visits or remote healthcare is possible. Transportation must be finalized and someone has to be entrusted with carrying out healthcare issues if a senior becomes incapable of doing so. Home health aids can be a great resource for seniors with limited mobility. They can help with drive, when driving becomes impossible or when it is difficult to go to a doctor's office for medical appointments. When a senior reaches a stage where dressing or bathing becomes tough, home health aides can step in. They usually can also help with day-to-day -day chores like shopping, house cleaning and laundry. If caregivers worry about seniors getting nutritious food, they can hire trained aides to cook or bring healthy meals. Managing bills or finances is worrisome for many seniors, especially those who don't live close to their children. It is best to work with a financial manager or geriatric care manager to help with making timely payments and with setting up auto bank payments. Assistive technology is to help seniors live on their own in safety. There are many different devices in the market to suit every need. Low-tech devices include rollators and stair lifts. Fill dispensers, temperature activated flow reducers for showers, and magnifiers for reading or watching TV are other examples. Advancements in assistive technology now include home automation that can include devices to turn off all the lights, temperature control, and alarm systems. Cell phones with large screens and buttons and simple navigation is also helpful to seniors on the go. Geriatric care managers and aging in place specialists are the best people to consult to help guide seniors who decide to age in place. A geriatric care manager can help evaluate, coordinate or provide emergency services for seniors. They can help in selecting senior housing options, long-term care and in-home care. A certified aging in place specialist is someone who understands the aging in place home remodeling market and the technology, tools, and resources available. Aging in place has many benefits. 
the most important being that seniors can grow old in a space that is most familiar and comfortable. It also ensures independence and the ability to continue enjoying the things they've always done with a little help, allowing for greater happiness in the long run. Thank you for joining us today. To access more caregiver tips and clips, visit us at www.ecarediary.com. Until next time.